Hey, what's up, Sag? Welcome to Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquettes. I had to redo your reading. Your person took my whole Larynx box and did with it what they wanted to, so I gotta start over from scratch. I'm a little disappointed because, yeah, your person was kind of getting exposed in that reading, but let's see what's up. Beloved. What does Sagittarius need to know about this connection with their person? What does Sagittarius need to know about this connection with their person? The divine will help you recognize signs and miracles. That's interesting, and I've never looked at that card like that. Somebody feels, got this energy of, the world is mine. Everything. I mean, I'm talking Nino Brown, Scarface, the world is mine type energy. While someone has been holding them down, feeding their ego through all of it. I don't know if at first it was kind of that vibe of, he got a big ego such a big ego and I love his big ego and all that but now that ego just is inflated and out of control this is a person that got a mean streak to him this isn't a nice person Sag let's see what's up beloved what's going on with Sagittarius eight of pentacles want to come out Somebody put in a lot of energy, time, and effort into this situation. It was supposed to be a very loving connection. But something went wrong here. <clears throat> Please don't let it come out. Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This person, oh my goodness, but see, that's that night, that um, Knight of Swords energy I was picking up. Knight of Swords, Eight of Swords, Queen of Cups. Y'all seen these cards enough to know what these cards is. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, The World, Two of Swords. The Six of Pentacles, the Page of Swords. Ooh, we. The Queen of Pentacles. The Seven of Cups. The King of Pentacles. And the Magician. This person has a huge ego. See, I want to start talking about this person, and there go my larynx. <clears throat> oh my goodness that's why I had to stop the last reading they was coughing me out the world is mine everything I keep getting this energy of the world supposed to revolve around this person This person think of themselves highly. Like they got a big ego, high self-esteem, if that's what you call it, or they could be a straight-up narcissist. But the way they see themselves, they see themselves as this magician, as they're able to bring into fruition every, whatever they want, and everybody better get in line. They start arguments purposely. This person's a strategist. You you know those moments that every woman should know by this time. Every woman, every man, everybody should know this game by this time. When somebody is trying to get somewhere, they'll start an argument with you so they can go. And you you know, I mean, you know all the signs of them starting arguments. But for some reason, I don't know why we do it as human beings. But we feed into the argument when they trying to get away instead of 
responding with love and kindness where they can't do nothing but argue with themselves so you know but if when when they do that right because these people are very strategic in the way they do things so they know how to push your button how to push that trigger to make you react and this is what this person is very good at this king of pentacles but i got a problem with this person right because it shouldn't be a queen of pentacles and a queen of cups and a ten of pentacles here. It shouldn't be two queens and a masculine energy. Um, core cards are people. There's already too many people in this situation, right? So you already know this. When they start arguing with you, they trying to get to somebody else. Or they got somebody else on their freaking mind. Like I said, this person can be very rude, argumentative. This is not a nice person. This person got an attitude problem. They need an attitude adjustment. Maybe beloved will come through and give them one. Because I see, like, you try to be this loving person, but you don't understand why this person acts the way they act or they behave in the way that they behave. With, with this energy here, this person don't give up. They're, they go in. They go in on any and everybody. Okay? Just because they can. This is... Let me tell you what type of person this is. I don't want to say they a bully. But they got a bully energy to them. They could be a bit of a bully. They could bully females or they could bully guys. They're friends. They probably the leader of some shit. Right? But they a little bit of a bully. You already know, Sag, that this person deals with other people. Too many cards indicating it. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Nine of Cups. But my thing is this. Why do you like this person? Because they all about themselves. They're very selfish. So that, that is the same energy that's coming out of you. They're very selfish. They think that the world revolves around them. They feel like they're a god. And let me touch on that topic while I'm on the topic. People won't stop treating human beings like they're god. Okay? Or gods. I heard a dude years ago. He said, he said, women be treating us like we gods. We only guys. We not gods. But what do you call them? Love? That's how he said it. We we guys, we not guys, love. Some sometime some of us put people on higher pedestals than they deserve. Like this person is just a guy or a girl, not a god. Like they can't give you no power. They can't they don't have the power to give and take away and all of that type of stuff. But sometimes we tend to put these people on pedestals. Thinking of people too highly is like a big downfall in relationships. Like, yeah, we're supposed to, you know, admire our spouses, admire the people that we dating. But as far as putting them on this pedestal, like you down here and they up here, or allowing them to make you feel like you down here and they up here type ordeal, no, it's not supposed to be like that. This ain't the way that relationship's supposed to work, but this person, this is the way they make their relationship work. They make people feel like they smaller than them. You know, this person is definitely branded, got a lot of paper. This ain't no broke person. So they do got a big ego because of what they've accomplished in their life. They feel like they've worked hard or they grind hard, hustle hard, whatever they I'm getting that Rick Ross song every day I'm hustling. So this person hustles every day for whatever. I don't feel like this is a person that works a job. This is someone that gets theirs out the mud and um yeah, get it how they live. It bothers me, Sag, because this person got somebody that they that they love, that they adore, that they wit. This Queen of Pentacles energy is their divine counterpart. I don't know if the Queen of Cups is here next to this Eight of Swords because you already know this. 
or you need to know this. Beloved, what, what else does Sagittarius need to know about these? This, this King of Pentacles, please. This person plays games. They are married. So their family could be very dysfunctional. I had to stop for a minute and be like, where the damn wife at? But could come from um, a dysfunctional family or something like that. And then they got this, I'm back, bitches. See, the world revolves around them. They be back when they get back. It's about me. It's about me. It ain't about you. It's about me. Somebody gonna cry the river about this person. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles energy. Six of Wands. Ooh. Ooh. So they have Virgo. They could um, have an OnlyFans or they have social media or they do some type of videos or something like that. This person, um... This person has a, a large presence in social media or something. This person is very strategic as well. This person... Is an undercover freak. This person has big... I ain't going there. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Mm-mm. I just got that. You could learn a lot from a dummy. Buckle your safety belt. So this person's dumb for this person. This Queen of Cups, wow. This is a hidden energy. Or either this is what they hide from you. They hide this Queen of um, Pentacles or this Queen of Cups from you. This person's a player. They got um, a lot of player ways and a lot of player tendencies to them. But remember, the world is mine. Everything. Tell me about this person's personality, please. Tell me about this uh, King of Pentacles personality, please. Tell me about their personality, please. Told you. Queen of Cups, the fool, and the hangman. Fuck everybody. The world is mine. I do as I please. I come and go as I please. You can either get down with me or you ain't got to mess with me. The world is mine, bitches. I don't know why I get it like that. Maybe because this person come through the door telling me I'm back, bitches. But yeah, this person ain't nice. Clarify this Queen of uh, Swords. Too many cards, my love. In the in El Diablo wants to come out the deck. That's not what's up. And the five of ones behind El Diablo. Shh. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Queen of Wands. Three of three of Wands. Strength and the Eight of Pentacles. A Sag. You know, baby, I've been waiting for you for so long. You like the person of my dreams. I know, I know. I know I'm not everything you want, but I'm everything you need. This person got game? I don't know why I got this when you came out the deck, Sag. But this person got game. This Queen of Wands, Three of Wands energy with this uh, strength card and this Eight of Pentacles was straight game. They got you through words, Sagittarius. They had um, some game for you. They knew what you liked. Something about your energy attracted this person to you. It's like this person knew just what to say. When you arrived in, a, in this boat, in their life, when you arrived in their life, this person had game for you, game for days. They were smooth and fun and outgoing and shit. Showed you a good time, spent some money on you. It's 
somebody gave it up the first night. That was your biggest downfall. If you were a person that gave this person your, your stuff the first night, that was your biggest downfall because you didn't get to know it, know who this person was. This person has a lot of player ways. This person is good. This person is very strategic and articulate in the way that they handle people, places, and things. Remember, the world is theirs. Everything. Why do I get this, this fake player energy, though? This person get caught. Terrified this eight of pentacles. <laughs> that six of wands came out in reverse. Yeah. They dumb, they dumb ass get caught. Told you they think the world is there. They're a dark magician. I'm happy that came out. This is a darker energy that you're dealing with. You know, what's interesting is it's next to a hermit energy. When you mix these two together, the magician, the hermit, this is a lot of Virgo energy. But not only that, when you mix these two together, you come out with a motherfucking smart ass dark magician because they use their powers in the wrong way. They got you. They got you, baby. You think it's a game. <laughs> they... <it. laughs> telling you that mouthpiece when you let a person start talking to you getting in your head it's all that this person was about and they sad uh, they um they knew that they was gonna give you some good D or P to work with I don't know who this person is, but this this energy sounds off in so many ways, beloved. And the, oh, the more they can keep you involved in some arguments and fights or something like that, the more that they can play mind games with you, Sag. That's their whole focus. It's to keep you in place. Where you ain't going nowhere. So if you've been in your head, it ain't by accident. This is exactly where this person wanted you. This mother, I keep, and I keep trying to avoid this energy, but I got the Mac. Okay? The Mac, hold up, what, what, um, what did he tell, what did he tell, oh boy, he said, yo bitch chose me. Somebody is finna get chose, right? This finna crush they ego. They think they got you, Sash. But I see a, a ego crushing moment. Yo, bitch chose me. Yo. What was his name, Goldie? Yeah. I just, you know, with that energy, Sag, I just hope that energy ain't finna re-enter your life in another person. I pray that you've done your spiritual work because that Goldie energy, I mean, you talking about two players, right? They arguing over who, who got the baddest bee in the room. And Goldie got the baddest B that was with old boy Tony that was supposed to have all the bad women. But Goldie got him. He was a rookie pimp. Don't get me started on the Mac. Just know somebody in this energy think they a player, player, boy. But every player has their day. And this one is about to have their day. Okay, Sag. Either way, my loves, y'all know what it is. Thanks for tapping in. Make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and until next time, love, peace, and so take care.